Is it possible to restore youth with the help of magic? Can a mage or witch use magic to restore youth to her physical body, or at least slow down and stop the aging process? Yes, of course. It can be done not only by a mage or a witch, but even by an ordinary person who is trying to practice and is neither an initiate nor a magician nor a witch. Sometimes people get into different adventures. For example, a woman uses magic, various kinds of spells, or even runic formulas with the obvious intention of prolonging her youth or somehow changing her appearance and as a result receives magical events instead of magical transformation. There are many described cases, such as a woman who uses some runic staves for rejuvenation, after some time receives a gift of money for cosmetic procedures, plastic surgery, some kind of rejuvenation courses, and the like. Such an event can be called magical. In the consciousness of a mage or a witch, everything happens in a slightly different way, because the impact does not affect the sequence of events, but the inner world, the inner part of the personality, the consciousness, and even the soul, depending on the depth of immersion. What happens at this point? Different things happen. First, there is a change in some of the energy informational processes in the body, which are certainly related to the sense of time. It's not that time is going backwards, but it's changing its trajectory a little bit. And it's going in a different direction from the surrounding reality. In the consciousness of all people, time passes in a regular line, but in the magical consciousness it passes a little slower because the trajectory of movement has changed a little. It seems to move at a similar speed, but it doesn't. Of course, this also affects your worldview. Because if the trajectory of time is not synchronous and parallel with all the people around you, then your series of events will also be a little different. That is, you seem to be in one space, but you have a different series of events. You seem to be in one informational field, but you receive informational packages in different ways, so they are actually different packages of information. And of course, it seems to others that the appearance of such a person changes a bit. Mostly, because it doesn't fit the general perception of age. The inner perception of age also changes a bit, because time begins to flow differently. There are some practices that are powerful enough to cause the time vortex in consciousness to spin in the opposite direction and cause time to turn back. But at the same time, when the consciousness returns to the usual egregorial world, the causal body returns to the usual pace of time, because to live against the general flow of time is to come into conflict with the surrounding world. And mages and witches who live among humans don't do that unless they have to. Professional witches and warlocks can use spells to change their appearance to others, but their age remains the same. But it's just that the people around them see them in a different way. There are also certain rituals for this. Runic staves are very good for this. There are many of them, and they all have a wonderful effect, because they were created by witches for this very purpose. And what woman doesn't want to look a little younger than she is? No matter how advanced a witch is, if she is a witch, she is a woman, and if she is a woman, she wants to look young. Male witchers have a different attitude towards this issue. They usually try to look older than their age. But we're talking specifically about witches and rejuvenation. So here, colleague, I will answer you the following. Of course she will not become younger by your inner perception. After all, wisdom is knowledge 
knowledge. Knowledge is years, and years are experience, and your inner perception of age should not change without need and necessity. But the appearance can be easily changed with the help of time control, spells, and a variety of magical techniques that generally just help you look a little different to others than you really are. You just need to choose what you need. You have to make up a certain algorithm of actions and create a certain ritual. I want to tell you that when this part of the ritual begins to take effect, when this algorithm begins to work, it will change your worldview and your attitude toward yourself. And of course it will change your physiological processes. Nutritional changes will happen naturally, because the body itself says that if you and I are going to work on different vibrations, then we probably need to be fed on the same vibrations, and not on the different ones, because you can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. The daily routine will also change, the way you interact with people will change, maybe it won't be so blood-sucking and so energy draining. In general, a lot of things change gradually. When you start these mechanisms, they have an effect on everything. When you realize this, understand all these effects, they certainly won't come as a surprise. Your interactions with people will begin to change in some indirect way. Your habits will change. You will want to live in a different area, communicate with people perhaps not so closely. The urban environment may start to get on your nerves, or it may be the other way around. It often happens that village witches go to the city for a while to regain their youth and speed up their inner psychological and physiological metabolism. By the way, your metabolism will also change. Usually with witches, it's either very slow or very fast, so it's always kind of hyper. Practitioners have long been able to change it according to circumstances. So we can conclude the following. Everything is possible. You just have to choose the right algorithm of actions for yourself. The algorithm of actions is chosen either based on your own knowledge of rituals and techniques that help you specifically, or based on the goals you set. Because if you don't need to change your appearance, and you just need to make an external impression, then based on these considerations you can choose certain mechanisms that work as a hex, as a veil, as a certain element that can hide you from the outside world or on the contrary attract the eyes of other people at certain times. Youth and beauty are subjective. The latter, as we all know, is in the eye of the beholder. In general, this is why witches, knowing human nature, always make a big impression on others when they need to impress, and don't try too hard when they don't have to. We just get the goals and objectives right to save magical effort.